There is nothing wrong with your computer. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling the tra transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We control the horizontal. We control the vertical. We can roll the image. Make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next 20 minutes, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your computer. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the magical diary. So for those of you old enough to actually know what that means, I used to watch reruns. Congratulations, you're a geek, or a nerd, or just lived a very long time. Welcome back! I got Ben Lauren doing that awesome intro. That was, I have to say, I like that one. That was a pretty good one. Yeah. If, if a little long, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, we should have a... Stuff coming up. A stuff coming up? A stuff coming up. An exam coming up relatively soon. Exam. Oh, fine. But no, seriously, though, the exam's like a week from now, so we're good. So, uh, next week. We got another week? Alright, which means that it's probably going to be in the next episode or so. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving! Oh. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! There we go. Huh? But it's cool. No! It's not that day. Not here. We hate him! <laughs> well, why not? We hate the guy who discovered the Indian's backyard, or Native Americans. That guy caused a lot of trouble. We don't say his name. It's cursed! <laughs> he caused we, a lot of trouble. Yeah, probably about right. We dare not speak his name. <laughs> Plot twist, Columbus is Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of funny, that but doesn't that mean that he would have to return to Britain at some point or something? Where does Harry Potter take place? Isn't it in Britain somewhere, theoretically? Theoretically. Anyway. My fault. I should have told you guys earlier. Yeah. Yeah, you should have. The way the native people and the newcomers mixed out is a little different than it is for the non-magical history. <laughs> we have strong ties, is what my mother says. Sacred smoke tales like the fourth of all magical students in the U.S. Takes. Takes. Okay. Uh, and around here, the local spirits were dealing with... We're dealing with them way before us. So a lot of our rituals and celebrations come from them. So good to hear that they actually do Native American right. stuff. So this is Thanksgiving? Well, she did say before that the, most of the, or the, like the only um, trained magicians or witches and wizards and whatnot here were the Native American ones. Yeah. Sacred Smoke, I guess, is the... Um, is that like the name of another academy? Academy type thing, I mm, guess? Maybe, I don't know. It said it took like a quarter of them, so... Uh, it might be their origins. Like, uh, Sacred Smoke or, uh, Tiny Island, I don't know. It could be just names. Tiny big. Island? Uh, for the British Isles. Is that really a name of a British no, Isle? No, no, it's just, I don't know! <laughs> Coming up with something on the drop of the hat. I mean, it's not like they say, stay calm and magic on. I would slash anybody who came up with that. That's just no. First off, that's not even a good one, and, and there there are very few good ones at all. Not really. I was kidding. Besides from Stay Calm and Don't Blink. That one was good. Oh, you got the glasses on. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, we it, look weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's Canadian Thanksgiving. You're Southern, so you don't notice it much. <laughs> well, that's about right. Uh, going from the south, I have no idea what Canadian Thanksgiving is. No, I do, but I'm well cultured. Anyway. Oh! What was that? She said, oh, so I went, oh! oh. Yeah, oh! <laughs> anyway, what should we do this week? Uh, sleep first. Monday, Monday is the day of rest. <laughs> I like that. Monday is the new Sabbath. Um, I think we should probably have... Let, let's let's do a, a week of green and white. Okay. Or no, green... Red, green, blue, white? Um, Something like that. Alright, whatever, let's do that. Yeah, sure. Slaying scale. Um, do you need to get black up next week? Let's try and get them those three to ten, and then we'll get Sleeping these. Sleeping reduces stress. No! 
Well, it sometimes can, and if you have nightmares, it doesn't. Success! Yes. One red magic, one skill. Stress, stress. One stress, yeah. One red magic skill. Activity, blue Activity. magic. Do blue three magic? and three, alright, good. We're up to 14 and 14. Good. 14 and 14, what is that? Blue the magic. words 14 taste weird. One red magic? One and one. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm alone in my room when Did I hear a knock on the door. Did we just go an entire dog. week, pretty much? Yep, I was huh. uneventful. Hello, Mary Mary. This, um, this, hi. I don't think that was the voice we had. Uh, there wasn't actually a voice for her before, was it? No, I don't think She's so. She's a little weird, though. I'm just making my rounds to invite everyone to the Saturday study sessions. If you need any help with your classes, I will be available in the library on Saturday. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Ooh, that was that... actually pretty interesting to come up with a voice like that I, on the drop. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> My diaphragm like like hurts. Randomly, <laughs> randomly yeah. changing all around. Yeah. She hurries off. Well, she is a fairy, or at least a butterfly student. Butterfly hall. Yeah. On Saturday morning, I get up terribly early and deliver the mail <laughs> and allowances. Then I'm free for the day. Terribly early. What I was I once today? a morning person. Uh, now, if we study with Minnie, not only do we gain smarts, but he hel she helps us with our, our lowest one. Oh, really? Yeah. So do you want to do we that? We have two lowest ones. I guess it random rolls it. All right. Uh, um, yeah, go ahead and study. Studying is generally a good idea. And we get a weird scene with her. Are those manga on the bookshelves back there? It's ma uh, magazines. Compared to that the rest of the school, sense. the library is fairly small and unimpressive. There's a slightly uh, outdated <laughs> set of ex, ex encyclopedias. Thank you, encyclopedias. Ellen really didn't need to bring her own, and a good connection of foreign language dictionaries, probably over here. Uh, plus two bookcase filled with magic op and witchy history. Yep. Um, most of the school looks the rest like fi fiction with a rack of popular magazines. The school actually subscribes to those. <laughs> uh. But there aren't many people here on Saturday, but looking around I see... They don't even have one guns and ammo? Seriously? It's, it's more popular. Guns and ammo is only popular to a certain niche. Yeah, the southern niche. Well, <laughs> maybe hunters or uh, gun enthusiasts. Anyway. I thought that was funny. Come on, don't don't steal my thunder here. Hi, Mary Mary. Do you need any help with anything? Help with schoolwork. Help with schoolwork, yeah. Minnie, help me out with my green magic. Okay. Smarts, uh, green magic and smarts increased by one, stress increased by four. Four. She's a stressful teacher. Yeah. Really. She she yells. She's Gordon Ramsay. Oh no. Not Gordon Ramsay. Okay, uh, we'll probably want to sleep off our stress before the exam because that's just a smart thing to do. Is it really? Yeah. All um, right. Exam would be on a Friday. I, we'll yes. we'll sleep Thursday, I guess. Or we could sleep Friday and wake up in time for the exam. Uh, uh, that's what I do for college. Is uh, <laughs> uh, just sleep in um, a little bit and make it to class on time. I suppose that makes sense, but doesn't doesn't the day event happen? In the uh, afternoon. In the afternoon, technically. Mm -hmm. So that means we would technically on that day be taking a nap in the afternoon. In the morning. Okay, um... Classes are held in the morning and then you're free for the day to study and do whatnot. Unless there's a special event, which triggers in the afternoon. So think you, you wake up from like 9 to 12. Instead of going to classes, you sleep into 12. And then afternoon event triggers after lunch. Does that make sense? I'm sure it would if my brain were operating on more than one megahertz per second. Okay, well then just trust me. We won't miss the exam. And if we do, <laughs> we, we have a load save. Hey guys, just thought I should warn you. The next exam is Friday. Really, I had no idea. <laughs> wow, this is a total surprise to us. At the end of the month, this is until next week. She looks so stressed about it. Don't look at me, I don't make the rules. Will it be like the first one? Nothing doing. This time they drop us into a pit full of alligators and we have to fight our way out. <laughs> you are such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lie if it's funny. That's that's a great moral lesson. It's not a lie if it's funny. Yeah, but do you know anything real? 
It's magic. None of this is real. Well, I'm pretty sure we'll be in the dungeons, because that's pretty much where all exams are. But I don't know what they'll make us do. They're going to make us fight a giant mouse for control of a cheese mountain. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I guess I'm a little hungry. I guess so. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> William said after the first time we cast real spells, we've learned magic, so we can't just take fake it with wild magic. Hmm, so I better we better know enough spells. <laughs> what should I do this week? Uh, that kinda makes my draw feel weird. Okay, um You're the one with the spoiler knowledge. Is there is there magic in particular that we should have that oh, we don't have? Actually, that's a good question, but I can't check our spell book. Can I? Let's check options. Uh, yeah, spells, spells right there. Yeah, we, we're good. We're good. We're good on spells for now? Yep. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and um, hit green twice, black twice, and sleep. And after we sleep, we'll save because there's something very funny we can do to wrap up this episode. That'll be that'll be good. I like funny. Funny is nice. Track scent. Track scent. Not gonna That's be cool. too terribly useful, but we at least we have something to use. One green magic, one stress. I was hoping to get one more. Two black magic, two stress. That's Inscription. Good. Inscription. That's interesting. Alright, that's good. We got black and trigger. trigger. Simple delayed effects or traps within the caster's current location can, can be, be dangerous. dangerous. Well, <laughs> poke a bomb with a stick. I'm going to set off this mine. <laughs> trigger, boom! That was a bad idea. Sleeping reduces stress. Oh, that's the lowest stress we've had since the school year began. Okay, and we're going to take a quick break here to save our game, and we will catch you guys right up. See, so and meow? We're back. Why did I meow? I don't know. Just, that's, I thought I was over there. I did that one set, and the, the shop clerk person looked at me kind of funny. <laughs> I think she thought I was just being cute or something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she had a crush on you, and that's why she looked at you funny. I hope not. She was kind of old. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Age should not make a factor in love. Anyway, I'm not uh, sure. Uh... Yeah. Okay, well, sure. okay, gold diggers. Gold diggers, maybe. I mean, hopefully you have enough sense in your mind, and, you know, you're not dating Sense a in your mind? Sense in your mind. Sense in your brain. Sense in your mind, like squirrels in your pants. Yes. <laughs> got squirrels in my pants! Anyway, I I'm not you know, sure. I hated, I hated that song and that episode in general, but there's still something just so funny about it. Anyway, uh, we should probably get on task because there's something very funny happening next. Alright, alright. You're gonna make us do something really stupid like jumping into a raving, raging river, aren't you? Well, watch. Anyway, I'm not sure why they send us to, an, uh, send us to a specific <laughs> room anyway. We're just gonna get tele... They're just going to teleport us into the dungeon when we get there. <laughs> Jump off a cliff. Everyone else is doing it. <laughs> well, unless this time will be different. Nope, nope doesn't, doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's what you get for thinking about it. Oh, oh good, it's time for, um... Yes. Yes. Yes, I told you about this, and yay, we're excited. And once again, I find myself in a dungeon, but this time, face... Uh, bleh. Once again, I find myself in a dungeon, but this time, in a larger area, facing a deep, dark hole. Ha, 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 ha. Greetings, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Behold the abyss. You will find the exit to this dungeon on the other side. This dungeon level is now warded. You may not teleport outside of this dungeon level. You must cross the abyss in order to exceed. You may choose to surrender at any time, and you will be retrieved from the dungeon safely. However, you will fail your exam and receive demerits. Good, Good luck. luck. Ha, 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 So, now what? Oops, 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 oops. What? <laughs> With the scroll back, why? Because uh, I accidentally did something. Nice. Alright, uh, so, now what? Well... Do we do we get to take a look at our, our spells or something? Yeah, we can take a look at our spells. I don't know if we have anything strong enough. I mean, unless the abyss is maybe uh, an illusion. 
Movement and spell. Can you read that? Command. All right. Movement and spell casting commands can be found on the left hand side of the screen. If you hold down the shift key, you can use the left, right, and up arrows to move around the dungeon. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, this would be inventory if we had any. Um, All right. Uh, we're going huh. to do something very special, I do believe. Let me double check my notes real quick. Oh, well, all right. And you can hear the whispers. Yeah, it sounds like there's, there's probably something right behind us that we should turn around and hit with a fireball. Ah! Oh, there's nothing there. Oh. That would really suck, though. Abyss. You see nothing. A great, great deal, deal of, of nothing. nothing. You can't even make out the bottom. the bottom of the pit. I think this is actually supposed to be me, isn't it? <laughs> really jump over the abyss? You oh, do please it? tell me you're not. So I was right with the let's jump off a cliff. Everyone else is doing. Oh no! I take a few steps back and get a running stop and leap. But, but not, not far enough. enough. No. Ah! Did you really think that would work? But instead of splattering, I find myself back in school. Now there was a reason I did he this does because not there's a very look happy. no. He does not look happy, and there's a very special reason why I did this. And I got this tip from actually a friend of mine. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Friend, air quotes. <clears throat> okay. Miss Quite Contrary, what did you think you were doing? Uh, being adventurous, sir. <laughs> Smashing yourself to pieces is your idea of an adventure. The whole might have been an illusion. <laughs> then use what little sense you possess to attempt to dispel it. And do not assume that I will always be there to catch you when you fall. For your abysmal performance, you will receive ten demerits and detention tomorrow. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. That's well, great. Well, that stinks. Yeah, well, like a derp, you jump off. Now, I'll go ahead and fix it, because technically, as class treasurer, we can't have demerits or we'll get fired. That's why I saved the game. But. But isn't, isn't, I, I kind of want to see what happens in the detention. Yes, because there's quick. something very special that there's happens. There's something very, oh, no, there's more. We're going to jump off another cliff. Yeah. I'm the first to arrive in the detention room. Followed shortly by <laughs> Donald. Donald. You screwed up your exam too. Exam? Oh, that's you. Oh, well, what was what was this? What did I do? Oh yeah. <clears throat> what? Exam? Well, isn't that why you're here? No. Why are you here? Never mind. <laughs> I jumped off a cliff. The professor arrives and looks back and forth in front of the two of us. Oh, just like the latest episode of The Inner World. Yeah. Mr. Danson, what could I do that would make you stop ending up here every weekend? I don't know. This is a serious, this is a serious question, Mr. Danson. I require a truthful answer. Yeah. yeah. What, if, what if you didn't like the answer? I mean, the truth made you mad and you gave me another detention. Then... You will not be punished for speaking the truth. I have ways to tell if you are lying. If you are, I may have to become creative. Oh, he's feeling sadistic today. Oh man, look at that smile. <laughs> well, okay. He thinks for a minute, then smiles. If you climbed up on the cafeteria table during lunch wearing a feather boa and saying happy birthday to me, that would cause you to stop seeking out detention. Um, yes. Your honesty is duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> that's great! Oh, no. oh man. <laughs> Please tell me that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I will show you to your task. Follow me. Miss Quite Contrary, wait here. They leave the room. I'm not sure what Donald was thinking, but I bet the professor's not happy with him. Probably not, no. Oi. <laughs> Please tell me he did not wear a feathered boa and sing happy birthday. Alright, hold on. A few minutes later, oh, Professor Grabner yeah. returns. He sits at the table and massages his temples. <laughs> Sir? Oh, you. He stands and turns through 
one of the cabinets until he finds a thin book in which he tosses onto the table. <laughs> Read that. Write a report summarizing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I <laughs> the book. <laughs> oh, how fitting! Okay, I pick up the book. It's hardcover with patterned gold binding with a cruelly drawn, scowling figure in the front. The title is "Little Will Went Up the Hill and Came Down in Pieces." You gotta say it with a little more, a little more um, rhyme in your voice. Little Will went up the hill and came down in pieces. There you go. <laughs> That's a little too cheery, I think. Is this a children's book? If you behave like a child, you will be educated like one. Cold, man, cold. Mm -hmm. This is how was wizard children learn not to be sued. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> oh, All right, let me start that again. <clears throat> this is how wizard children learned not to be suicidally stupid. Now get started. <laughs> Damn it, I'm trying not to laugh here. Yeah. This is just too funny. Keeping my side to myself, I sit down and begin reading. Wow, this is morbid. Every few page, one of Willie's friends makes a mistake and dies in a grisly new way. All the adults in the background carry on having a party. Well, that's nice. British kids have to read this stuff? <laughs> yes. Uh... Okay, we have to... Talk okay. about punished like a child. Oh, man. Kids. Yeah. Hmm. Good. I had to uh, choose the alternative punishment, and this was the alternative punishment. So, can't you just spank me and get this over with? You mm. want me to spank you? Get <laughs> Oh, nice. God. No. The, the, that, that's all, like... Now I'm curious if he would actually do this. <laughs> oh god, this is the start of oh so many pornos. I regret using my own voice for Mary Mary now. I know, right? Yes, please. I've been a very naughty girl and I deserve Ooh. a spanking. Trauma level, hearing your older sister say something like that. <laughs> oh god. Really? You're even more of a fool than I had imagined. He seats himself at the table. In my day, Miss Quite Contrary, the headmaster often took his slipper to boys who had been bad, and no one thought anything of it. Of course, the word slipper was a polite euphemism. Okay. He bends over and takes one of the ends of his bed laces for the <laughs> time. He's seriously going to hit. Oh, he's seriously going to hit me with the boot. Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind. I thought Sliver meant something else, and that was totally, totally inappropriate, and and something you would expect a Catholic priest to do. Anyway, uh, he looks up, catching the sight of my expression. That smirks again. Perhaps I should remind you, Miss Quite Contrary. That the object of detention is not to entertain you. Um. Now complete your assignment. With a sigh, I get to work. I suppose it was too much to hope that I would actually get it. I can just see Gravy swinging his boot around by the shoelaces, smacking Mary Mary with it like a like a flail. With a sigh, I get to work. I suppose it was too much to hope that for what I would get out of it so easily. Still, it could have been worse. Uh, worse, I could have been. That could have turned out very painful or very embarrassing. Yeah, you're telling me. Instead, it's just another boring detention. I hope you guys enjoyed that oh, cutscene. Oh God, that oh, was. Hold on. Uh, Mary, Mary, there you are. Oh, oops. Not quite, but a weird female voice. Minnie runs up to me in the hall. I need you to sign off on the orders for the dark dance. The what? On Halloween, it's a ceremony. I can help you find a book on it. That's okay. What do you need me for? Each class contributes a part of the setup. We're doing incense. I've already picked some out, but I need you to sign to authorize the funds. That's all? Everything else has been taken care of. I got the purpose here, so if you can just sign. Um. 
I want to know what I'm agreeing to. Actually, Gravner probably knows what he's talking about, and... Oh, wait, we should we should not do this, because we should save state load back yeah. to the to the exam, and... So you will find and, out the exciting conclusion, because yeah. the Dark Dance is so, actually a set thing. I thought it was going to be something special. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, this is Lily, <laughs> this is Ben Thorne. Saying just... goodbye, ending the episode, and apparently not spanked. And I'm not telling you perverts where I live. <laughs> See you guys later.